So genome sequencing is a relatively new technology. It's not perfect. It's actually measuring billions of little letters in their DNA. Not just millions, but billions. And whenever you have a test that measures that many things, you can get some of them wrong. But having said that, the interpreting those results is another thing entirely. It turns out that the databases we use to interpret those results are filled with errors. They're filled with mistakes. They're filled with what somebody thought five years ago or ten years ago and it turns out not to be true now. So that's one of the huge challenges today is creating new databases that have more nuanced information that says, well, we're, we're very sure of this piece of information, we're kind of sure of this piece of information, and we saw this once but we're not very sure of it so that we can do a better job of interpreting the genomes. Genome sequencing refers to actually spelling out every letter of your DNA, or every letter at least of the genes that are coding for proteins in your DNA. Whereas direct-to-consumer genetic testing, at least as we have it now, is mostly concerned with finding special markers along your DNA, which are like road signs, that are associated with a particular risk of a particular disease. So for one thing, the marker technology is much cheaper, and it's also less, a little less precise. They're both pretty accurate, but it's a little less precise. Now the kind of information you get with a genome ranges from rare variants or mutations that are very predictive to a lot of information that just gives you a sort of likelihood. And it is somewhat controversial how all of these risk markers can play out in your everyday health. Will they worry us unnecessarily? Will people order too many medical tests when they get this kind of risk information? Will people be discriminated against? Will they, will they somehow um, have this information shared in their medical record? How fast are we gonna start using genetic information? Let's say it's available for everybody. Are doctors ready to use it? Do they actually know how to interpret it? Do they know what to do with a particular piece of information that they get from your genome. And I think everybody agrees we're not quite ready yet. We're trying to actually imagine a time when sequencing is an everyday event and, and everybody's doctor has their sequence as part of their ordinary medical care. How will this play out? How will they use this information? There are a lot of unanswered questions about that and probably a lot of education that still needs to be done to get you know, the army of doctors ready for this technology. But we got to start somewhere.